Hey, 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 what's going on? What are you guys doing out here? Hey, this this does not concern you or anybody else. So this is what we're going to do. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. So if you really want to know, we're going to take this monitor oh, no. and we're going to throw it off the roof and there's nothing you can do to stop it. You can't stop it. Oh, crap. <laughs> Hello and hello. Today's video is about two products, the Hollyland Mars 4K wireless transmission system and the Hollyland Mars M1 five and a half inch monitor with built-in wireless transceiver. Both of these products can transmit a signal to a wireless device like a cell phone or a tablet, making them incredibly useful on set. The Hollyland Mars M1 is actually three things in one. It's a monitor, it's a transmitter, and it's a receiver, meaning that you can have it on your camera or you can walk around with it. And I'm here today with Ben Walls, a filmmaker. Ben basically does everything by himself and his videos look just as good as ours, so I'm very jealous of him. So Ben, as a one-man band, would anything like this be exciting to you? Uh, definitely. One of the coolest things about this monitor is that it is a five and a half inch screen, which means it's small enough to fit in my case with all of my other gear. I don't have to carry a big giant extra case with me. It just goes up easy. Sweet. What Ben doesn't realize at this point is that all of these products are his. I'm going to give them to him at the end of this video. When we're talking about wireless video transmission systems, some filmmakers might think, okay, I don't need this. That's for Hollywood. You see on Hollywood productions, they have their video village set up and the producers and all the superfluous people on set are looking at these monitors for no reason. But I'm gonna tell you from my personal experience, my level of filmmaking jumped as soon as I got an external monitor. Wireless video on set helps the whole experience run more smoothly. It helps the whole experience be more collaborative. People can catch things in the frame that you otherwise wouldn't see. I'm a huge fan of video systems on set. That being said, if your wireless transmission video system stuff gets in the way because it doesn't just work, then all of a sudden your whole production is bogged down because it's super cumbersome. Also, full disclosure, I am a huge Hollyland fan. I have been from the very beginning. So they send us free products to review. That being said, I'm going to call out any problems with these and try to be as unbiased as possible, even though I am a big Hollyland fan. These are two distinct products that work well together, and that's why we're featuring them both in this video, but you don't have to buy them together. So first, let's talk about this monitor, the Mars M1. This is made from plastic and metal together. It has a great, what looks like a, a, a rubber coating on it to help it so it doesn't break when it falls. Um, Hollyland has introduced this new antenna, which is great. I, I feel like this isn't gonna break. It is very durable. <clears throat> that was not on accident. Let's talk about some of the features included on here. First, we have an HDMI in and an HDMI out, yet we only have an SDI in. If you're gonna buy this, you're probably gonna want to use the HDMI in because that's how you get a 4K signal. On the back here, we have DC in and out, which means you can use that to power other devices on your camera. I don't think that it not having a 4K SDI in or out is something that the majority of people that are purchasing this are gonna worry about. I also know that this has five built-in LUTs with only Canon and Sony LUTs. Again, pointing in the direction that this is made for more run and gun style filmmaking and smaller crews, which I'm all about. Now, the cool thing about this monitor is you can have it on your camera for yourself, or if you buy the Mars 4K transmission system, then it can transmit to this as a director's monitor. And if you do that, you can buy this cool wooden side handle that is really well made. It's metal and wood, and you use an Allen wrench to, uh, to secure it on there. But here's the problem. The, the one place on this monitor where this can go covers up the headphone jack port. And if this is a director's monitor, the director's gonna wanna plug in headphones so they can hear the dialogue coming from the camera transmitted through this. But that wouldn't work if you buy the director's kit, so. What I find myself using the second monitor for most is I might give it to the marketing director. So that way we're not 
huddled in. I mean, as much as I really love my clients, I don't really want to be six inches away from their face. They can be doing things like looking for objects that don't fit the branding. So this is part of a kind of an MO here for this series of products. The indie shooter, smaller shooter are the main focus. And that, that shows right here with the HDMI in and out and only an SDI in. That being said, the build quality is fantastic. Okay, let's talk about the Mars 4K transmission system build quality. These are just as well made, metal, uh, great quality. I'm not afraid to drop them because I know they won't break. The receiver is blue and the transmitter is red. On the transmitter, we have an HDMI in and an SDI in. That's it, which for me, that's great, that's enough. Um, there's also these, this USB port. I, I'm assuming that's for upgrades and things. And it comes with this little guy, USB-C to USB adapter, just in case you need it, which is very kind of them. These run on Sony NPF batteries, or you can purchase a power adapter so you can power these with your camera. These also have these new little antennas, which I think are cute and low profile and small. I'm proud to have this on my camera. I think they're made so well, they're pure metal. The build quality is great. So I think that the 4K transmission system would probably be something that might be more applicable with the types of shoots that you're doing where you wanna send a 4K signal to a larger monitor, whereas I might be more likely to start with the five and a half inch monitor and then upgrade, which is nice because then when you upgrade to the larger system and your business gets bigger, you can you don't have to sell all of your old products on eBay. That's true, Ben. Hollyland had the user in mind when developing these products, making them compatible with older products, like the Mars 400S Pro and the Mars 300 Pro. Both of these devices are capable of transmitting a video signal to four mobile devices. Unfortunately, when transmitting to a Hollyland device, each device counts as two mobile devices. Overall, having the ability to transmit up to four devices is a game changer on set. Next, we're gonna turn these on and do some latency tests. For this latency test, we've hooked up our stuff to the Canon C200. The Canon C200 has an HDMI out going directly into the Mars 4K transmitter, which is sending a signal to our five and a half inch monitor from Hollyland, and it's also sending a wireless signal to this iPad. Clap test. Oh, I, I, I did Are not. we supposed to do the clap test? Oh, wait, don't we have to hit yeah, there? Yeah, I've never done this before. Ready? I've never had a friend. Oh, okay. here we go. Okay, clap test. Oh, oh yeah. That's what friends do. Let's play this back in slow motion to see the time delay. What we're noticing here is the small HD monitor is the fastest. Then coming in next is surprisingly the wireless signal to the iPad. And third is the five and a half inch monitor. I wish this was faster than the iPad. This iPad is freaking out right now. Look, we're gonna have to buy a new one. This has nothing to do with the 4K signal. No, this is just a bad iPad. The latency that we see on the iPad and the monitor to me is not something that I'm like, whoa, big issue because as a Sony shooter, my best go-to option right now is sending the signal through the internal mechanism of the Sony into an app, which has like a delay of like, um, a second or a second and a half. I don't know. It's a lot. I, I would say that uh, right now on set with Epic Light Media, no matter how big of a shoot, we're using iPads for our clients. So we, we love iPads. They're big. And believe it or not, we've had more comments about, wow, you can send the signal to an iPad from producers and stuff than anything else of the equipment that we've bought. Now that we've done this latency test, we are going to do the distance test. They say it's 450 feet. Ben is going to be filming the monitor with his phone. When it cuts out, he's gonna let us know. I'm gonna be filming him going down the road. We're gonna see how far he can go before we lose signal. And go. Well, there he goes. Wow, we made it to the stop sign. And he's still going. Wow. 
Oh, he's gone. Two hours later. Here he comes. Pretty impressive. We only measured to the stop sign over there, but I actually was able to go around the stop sign and up the street, at which point we have no more direct line of sight. So I'm just going to go ahead and say that this went for sure over the 450 feet that we measured and then beyond some beyond seven eight nine houses i don't know i had to facetime thomas to figure out where i was at as you may recall at the beginning of this video i threw the monitor off of our roof to see if it would survive let's watch the rest of this and see what happened oh crap oh. it's working <laughs> <laughs> I really thought it would break. Are you sure it's working? Uh, yeah, it's your battery that gave way. Crap. Yeah, the battery. We lost a battery. Monitor is good. We just finished up this full Hollyland test, and I'll tell you what, after seeing its versatility and its connectivity with all of the iOS devices, I'm actually going to go online and grab a set right now. Because wait, 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 wait. See these things? These are for you. They're yours. You can keep them and bring them home. I know I did throw this off the roof, but it is still working. Thanks, Epic Light Media. This is kind of like what Mr. Beast does, except this is like super lame compared to him. So Ben, now that you know that the Mars M1 and the Mars 4K transmission system are yours, how do you think you'll be using these on a day-to-day -day basis? Well, I'm pretty pumped because as I mentioned, I was already looking to get a monitor and the ability to have this monitor just to be able to hand them and say, hey, here, catch this. This is yours, check it out. It's not only great because they feel more confident, but they're also a great second pair of eyes that can help me fix things before they become an issue. So pretty pumped about it. There's one more incredible feature that I have not told you about these. With both of these systems, if you transmit to an iOS device, you can live broadcast your signal anywhere. So you could have a client across the country watching exactly what you're doing in real time. So they don't have to fly out to you. Like that is a huge benefit that you can give them. Great, so in case I don't have too many cooks in the kitchen already. The amount of benefits just like never end with stuff like this. If you enjoyed this video and you want to watch more videos from Epic Light Media, uh, do not subscribe to this channel. We don't need any more subscribers. In fact, we don't want any more subscribers. Are, are you subscribed? I subscribe, should I unsubscribe? Unsubscribe, if you have subscribed, click unsubscribe right now.